The crowd is absolutely electric at the 1787 World Math Championship. The defending champion teacher is up by one point as we head into the final question. But young up and coming 10 year old Gout has been having a monster game. You couldn't have scripted it any better than this. The teacher has selected a 10 point question of maximum difficulty. What is the sum of the whole numbers from 1 to 100? This is an incredibly hard question. I don't know how Gauss is going to figure it out. He is going to be working against the clock. He's added the first four numbers and gotten to 10. But he realizes this won't work. He has to start over and think more creatively. He's back to the drawing board and he writes out the problem. But I don't know how he's going to figure it out. He's now writing the expression in reverse and it looks like he's going backwards because I can't see how this could possibly help him. What's this? He's now adding up the two expressions and oh my gosh! Every single column sums up to 101. I have never seen a pattern like this before. Gauss has figured out something that is going to shock the world. 2 times the sum is equal to 101 times 100 because there are 100 terms. He now figures out the sum by splitting the product in half. And so the sum is 101 times 50 which is 5050. Gauss has figured out the answer and he has plenty of time to spare to check his answer. But it doesn't look like he's content. He is changing the problem and in an act of showboating he is going to generalize the problem for the whole numbers 1 to n. I don't know why he's doing this. It looks like he is showing off his extreme innate math ability. He has such an IQ. You just can't teach that. He's now replacing the terms for the problem up to n. Every column sums up to n plus 1. So 2 times the sum is n times n plus 1. He will now go ahead and split the product so that the sum is n times n plus 1 over 2. And Gauss needs to finish this proof. He only has a few seconds. Oh no! He has forgotten to write QED. That is a requirement. We've all seen it before. This play is going to be under review, but the refs have ruled this is an incomplete proof. Gauss did not complete the proof with the symbol. This is a controversial ending. The fans are booing and going crazy, but it looks like Gauss is not going to get any points for this proof. And so by one point, the teacher is going to win the game. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the math take. On today's show, we're going to discuss the controversial ending to last night's game and ask, how does the loss affect the legacy of Gauss? First, let's hear from Analytics Man. Frankly, I'm disgusted by what happened last night. We all saw that Gauss completed the proof. The refs robbed him. They need to change that rule. You don't need to put QED at the end. We all know that the proof ended. Gauss is an exceptional person, and he's already an all-time great and future Hall of Famer. Gauss is so far beyond the normal that in time, he's going to help us define what the normal distribution actually is. Thanks. Now let's hear from Intuition Guy. Am I the only person who saw what happened last night? Gauss choked. Ten-year-old Gauss is such a talented mathematician, but he simply could not handle the pressure he keeps on comparing himself to Euler, who I called the king of mathematician, E-U-L-E-R, but he is not at the same level as King Euler yet. Euler made contributions to geometry, calculus, trigonometry, algebra, and number theory. His equation e to the power of pi times i plus 1 equals 0 is the greatest equation of all time, and even Gauss will admit this. So at this point, I'm going to call him Prince Gauss. And he has time to prove himself. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that is so disrespectful of you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. 
You can get my books. There's a link in the video description. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook and Google+. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalker on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Pinterest. And you can support me on Patreon.